Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make Snow White. She's a little 2D figure. She does not have a skirt that comes off. It's all part of her body. However, she does stand up. It's a standing skirt. So the colours we're going to need to make her are red, black, skin tone, blue, yellow and white. And I'm also going to use two little mini pony beads. They're a size 4mm by 7mm. So you're going to need those as well. Single loom. It's going to be in the offset configuration, which means column 1 and 3 are going to be slightly lower than column 2. The open part of the peg is going to face towards us. Um, you're going to be double banding. We're going to start with the back of the head, which is a crafty ladybug technique. And I think it looks much nicer to have hair on the back of our little doll's head. If you haven't checked out her, her channel, her YouTube channel, please do so. She's got some fantastic stuff there. Two bands at the same time when you place on the pegs. That's called double banding. And it gives your figure a more robust feel to it. It's not going to break as easily. So let's move down. We'll do two on either side, columns three and one. I'm using the black bands. We're going to do two from the centre to the right, two from the centre to the left, two for the back of the neck. I'm going to take a single band, oops, wrap it once and twice, and I'm going to use that as my end cap on the back of the neck here, just like that. Okay, push these down. Take a single band, you're going to stretch it over those three pegs as a crossover, and we're going to do the same down here. All right, now we need to do the puffy sides of her hair. Okay, so we're going to take two bands. And just go through this this band that these that go on the diagonal here. You're going to grab two and draw it through, and reclaim. Okay. You're going to take another two, and pull those through as well. If the band comes off, that's fine, because you just put it back on. So before you reclaim these pe this pair here, you're going to grab your crossover band, and then reclaim. So you now have five loops okay on your on your hook here take another two pop it on the end I tend at this stage to have my loom um, let me move these bands out of the way so I can show you um, I have my loom on the side as I do this I place my bands on my finger and on the end of my hook and I put my thumb on the peg that I'm working on so I pull through like that now again I'm not going to reclaim I'm going to grab the next crossover band that's above now I reclaim I'm going to take another two bands put them on my hook and my finger put my thumb now on this peg and draw through like so and I'm going to place these bands on this peg here just like that. If your crossover bands have come off, just place them back in the right spot, like this one's supposed to be here and this one's here. Let's do the other side, okay? Two bands, you're going through this diagonal one at the bottom, pull through and reclaim. Your next two, you're going to just pull through, do not reclaim, because you're grabbing that first crossover band and putting it on your hook and then reclaiming the other two bands. I've got a broken band here that's getting in my way. Two more bands on the end of your hook, on your finger, place your thumb over the peg so it doesn't all fall off. And keep it like this, don't reclaim, because you've got to grab that next crossover band, put it on your hook, and now reclaim. The last two black bands, put on your hook, and your finger, move up to this peg to hold it, and again draw through and reclaim. And you're going to pop that on the side of the head. Now, you can do that as a layer, it really doesn't matter. That's a crossover band here that goes from there 
to there. Okay. It doesn't matter if you do it as a layer rather than that. I find it easier to show people, whereas when you have it layered, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see what's going on. Let's just get rid of that manky band. All right, so they were our black our black bands for the hair. Now we're going to loop up just a few of them. Dig down past that end cap we put there. Hold on to it with your fingernail so that it doesn't fly off and hit somebody. Loop up. You're going to take the top two bands here and loop to the side. The next top two and loop to their side. You're going to do the middle one once and twice. And then either side here you're going to loop these bottom black ones up once and again up once and you are going to push everything down as far as it can go all right because we're, we're going to have our skin tone bands on top now so take your skin tone and let's place those we've got two you're skipping peg one to two you're going from two to three okay because one to two is going to be her hair Push things down. Two for the neck. You're going to do a single band and stretch it across as a crossover band, like that. Our next single band is going to be twisted three times, once, twice, and three times and placed across the eyes like that. Your next band you're going to actually put your eyes on whether they are beads or bands it doesn't matter. Thread them on. You can use um, a metal threader. I have a, a tutorial on tips and tricks of how to make one from a twisty tie. You can use dental floss. You can use a hook. Whatever you do to thread your eyes on that's what you do. Spread them either side of the face and then take your hook and gently lift that top part of the band over this peg. The bottom side stays normal, but the top side goes over that peg. That acts as a crossover band, um, so we don't have to put another crossover band. Now, it's very important to not forget at this stage to grab this black band here that was an end cap and pull it up and over so that it sits on the uh, neck bands. That's going to tie the hair, the back of the hair, into the face so that's an important part okay we're going to do another two here you can see they're twisted so I'm just gonna put my hook around like that and we're gonna do two this way as well and now we're going to move to blue for her bodice Again, I'm using two bands at a time. So first pair, second pair, and third pair. Same on the other side. First pair, second pair, third pair, and let's do some down the middle. First pair, second pair, and third pair. We need to do some arms. So take a skin tone band. You're going to wrap it around your hook once and twice. Oops. Let's do twice. And slide onto a pair of skin tone. And another pair of skin tone. Another pair. skin tone. So next what we're going to do is get three bands, a red and two blues, have the red in the middle and slide your single, I'm sorry, your skin tone bands on like this. Try and keep them in the order of red, blue, red, blue. Well, blue, red, blue, blue, red, blue, like that, okay? 
and then you're going to slide onto a pair of blue again trying to keep it in the order where the red is uh, in the middle that is going to sit on her little shoulder right here and we're going to do another one so a single skin tone wrap once and twice slide onto a pair slide onto another pair and one more pair of skin tone now we're going to do the three bands, the red and the two blues. Try and keep them in order. Slide onto a pair of blue. Like that. And we will pop that on the other shoulder. like oops I'm, I can see I lost a band there that would have been bad always good to check it can happen to anybody all right so from here we're going to start with yellow all right and we're doing yellow all the way to the bottom of our loom on each of these columns and we're again double banding At the bottom, you're going to take two and go from the center to the right, two from the center to the left. We're going to put an end cap right here in the middle. So single band, wrap it once and twice and pop that on the middle. Oops, I've only gone around twice. There's my third little loop there, like that. Take a single band and stretch it in a triangle over these bottom three pegs and again and again um, one more time now we're going to get a blue band and these next two you're going to actually stretch the blue band figure eight and loop it on itself so it's tighter than normal and you're going to put that next and you're going to do the same for the one above it and then at the bust line area, you're just going to stretch a single band across. You're not going to loop it on itself like that. Okay. Next, we have a few things extra to do. Um, we're going to just dig down past the end cap here and grab the top two yellow bands and loop them down. And do the same on the other side and loop down. And then we're going to loop these three up. And then we're going to add a skirt extension. So one, two, and three. Okay, push down. At this point, we're going to add a skirt extension similar to how we did the hair. Okay, so two bands, and you're going through this little part at the bottom. This, this last band here, you're going through that. And you're going to grab two bands and pull through and reclaim. You're going to grab another two bands and you're going to pull through. And this time you're not going to reclaim because, again, you're going to pick up that crossover band, put it on your hook so that you have the five loops. You've got the two loops at the front for the, for the pair of bands, two loops at the back for the pair of bands, and then you've got the crossover band in the middle here. Take another two, pop on the end of your hook, put your thumb on that peg and pull through. Again, don't reclaim, we're going for the next crossover band. Now you can reclaim, get your next pair of yellow and pull through. Don't reclaim, grab the next crossover band. Pull 
pull through, grab the next crossover band, on the end of your hook, pull through. Now we're going to grab one more pair, but we're not going to grab, I've reclaimed, as you can see, we're not grabbing another crossover band, I'm just pulling another two yellow through, and I'm going to pop on this peg here where the yellow bands start. Okay, so I had an extra two there that were not connected to a crossover band. Let's do the other side. So we have our first two. We have our second two. And the second two you do not reclaim. You're going to grab that first crossover band and then reclaim your bands. Take another pair, pop on the end of your hook, pop your thumb on that spot there and pull through. Now I've only pulled one through so I'm going to do that again. So go through the bottom, grab my second pair, reclaim after I've caught my crossover band. Pop this on my finger, draw through. I'm not going to reclaim just yet. I want to grab that next crossover band. Now I'm going to reclaim. Grab my next two. Pop on my hook. Draw through. I'm not reclaiming. I'm grabbing the next crossover band. My next two. There we go. Not reclaiming, I have to grab this crossover band next. Pop on the end of my hook. And I twist my hook to get around, really. It doesn't snag. Now I need two more. These are twisted. Of course they would be, wouldn't they? <laughs> so two more not connected to a crossover band this time. So just pull them through, reclaim and pop on that peg where the yellow start. Make sure my crossover bands are all correct in the right spot and they are. Okay, now it's time for us to start looping up. I'm going to go from the left first. Now, when I get to this spot here, I'm going to lift these two up, just two, hold out to one side, loop these yellow ones in, and then put those two back. I just think it looks prettier. If you don't do it, it's, it doesn't really matter. I just think it gives the flow of the skirt a better look. Lift those two up, hold out to the side loop up and then add these back. You can loop up to the shoulders, dig down, push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook. Okay, loop up to there, push things down. And you're looking for the teardrop shape if you've got your teardrop shape, you know things have been looped in. Just loop up. When I get to the skin tone, I'm going to stop. I want to loop the arms in first and then the chest. So I'm digging down and finding those bottom two bands. And then I will loop this one up. And then loop the neck in. Okay, now we're going to find the top two skin tone and loop to their side. The next two and the bottom two. Loop up. We're looping these two from the left. 
try and get it so that the bands do not twist. It looks horrible when you see twisted bands on a face especially. Okay, we're going to loop now again like we did with the skirt. I'm going to lift these two up and off, dig down, find those bottom two, loop up and replace. I just feel it looks better. You, you don't have to do it, um, it's up to you. It still works out the same if you don't, but I just feel it looks nicer. Loop up the center, and then we do the sides. One side, and the second side. You're going to need two black bands to tie off with. I use two as a, one's an insurance policy really, in case one breaks. Pop your hook down all the way to the bottom of that peg and grab those two black bands. Drag When you drag them back through, I tend to um, twist my hook so that I don't snag these other bands. So I twist my hook so that it's on the inside like that. Drag your bands to the back side of this peg. Take the first two up and over and pull tight. Let's take her off the loom. I use the back of a hook, I just find it helps me so that there's not too much pressure on the bands, especially if you've got lots of bands on one peg. You, uh, the last thing you want is for anything to break. So gently pull her off the band, off the loom. Stretch her into shape. I tend to pull the arms up and down, it just sort of gets them into shape a bit. I'm going to take my hook and poke it up the back of her hair here and grab those tie off bands and pull those back through inside of her hair with me if I possibly can come on you and you can hide those at the back of her hair which is great like that we're going to take a little red band and we're going to just pop that in her hair here all you do is just find a little loop that you're happy to put it through grab the little red band and you're just going to stretch it and tie a single knot And you know me with knots, I'm useless at tying knots. <laughs> Let's try that again. I need itty bitty fingers like my, my little girl. There we go. So tie a little knot, that's going to be the little bow in her hair. Here's her little sleeves. Even them out a little bit so that they sit nice. I've got one that's one band that's being a bit silly there. I'm going to try and straighten that out. There we go, that's better. Now, she's not going to stand up like that. So, what we need to do is a little bit of fancy fanciness to sort the bottom of her dress out. I'm going to move all the things that I don't need. All we're going to need is yellow and white. Okay, so I've got my yellow bands, and I have my white bands over here. And I'm going to do sort of a mix match of the two. I'm going to start by doing my first layer as yellow, and then my second layer will be white. All right, get my loom out of the way. I think I need a bigger desk. <laughs> All right, if you have a look, if you turn her upside down and have her back towards you, you've got these four loops that we finished off at on the bottom. There's one loop here, one set there, one set here, like that. 
one here and one here and each of these loops has got a side close to you and a side back that's far away from you you've got two little loops this side and two little loops this, this side so in, in total you've got four loops here four pair of loops this side four pair of loops that side and those loops are what we're going to work in I'm going to zoom in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing we're going to go through the first two loops on the right hand side the other two loops are over here that's the back we're working at these ones on the front you're going to be double banding two bands on your hook and you're going to pull through those two loops and you're going to do a slip knot so you've got it reclaimed on your hook and you're going to take one over the other and do a slip knot and then in that same pair of bands here that first stitch you're going to do another slip knot right next to it so each of these little stitches is going to have two slip knots in to start with like that so you've got two slip knots on that first loop you're going to join these together by taking the two closest to you up and over so you've got one pair of bands on there now now we're going through these two loops the second stitch and we're going to do the same we're going to do two slip knots so we'll do our first slip knot and put one over the other there's our little slip knot join it to this one by moving the first one up and over and then do another slip knot right next to it so put your hook through grab your next pair of bands and reclaim one over the other and then join them together like that so that's two in that one let's move to our third stitch same again all the way round this is what we're going to do till we get back to the beginning again so here's our first slip stitch our first little single crochet actually for those of you who have not done crochet with bands you're doing it here's our second slip knot one over the other join them together here's our fourth our fourth stitch let's do our first little slip knot pull it through reclaim one over the other there's our slip knot join them together let's go back and do a second one in that spot pull it through one over the other to form the slip knot and join them together now we're going to move to the front and you can see there's one two three four there's the four stitches that were at the back so we're going to go through the first the first pair here's our two bands pull them through and reclaim one over the other and then join do the same in that same stitch for the second little slip knot here we go and join move to this second one here two bands and do our first little slip knot one over the other and join them in and let's go back for our second one one over the other and join. Now we'll move to the third stitch. Here's our first slip knot and join. Go back again. And we'll do our fourth one, which is here. first slip knot oops I lost a band let's make sure I get both of them there we go join them together back again and here's our second slip knot and join them together now we're back at the beginning if you can see that we're back at the beginning and we've got this little sort of edge that has happened again you've got these stitches that we made there's the front two there's the back two again we're going to be just working in these front two instead of using yellow we're going to use white instead of doing two slip knots in every stitch 
we're going to use one slip knot in every stitch. So pull it through and reclaim one over the other and join in like that. Now we go to the second stitch, here it is. And we're just doing one little slip knot in each. Now these slip knots are what's called a single crochet. So you are actually crocheting with bands. Through the next one. With Elsa we just did um, single bands to do this and I've found since then that it's actually far better to do double bands. It is thicker but that enables them to stand up a lot better. You're just working on the two little loops that are closest to you. Have a look here on the side, those two, the other two can stay there. And you sort of pull the lip around like that. You can see here it is, right here. Nearly at the beginning again, here's our next two. Oops, sorry about that. And our last two here. Pull through. And you're going to finish by just putting your hook through the next white ones, take a single band, pull it through that, but instead of doing a slip knot, you're going to pull it through the two bands that are on your hook as well. Reclaim and do a slip knot now, and that will join those together. Now this little band we're going to hide inside here, okay? So if you just go through some of these loops at the bottom, grab the end, and pull it through, that's kind of hidden underneath her. Alright, make sure that you have her pulled into shape nicely and there she is, she will stand for you. So I really hope you enjoy making her. Um, if you prefer to do the detachable standing skirt that's absolutely fine, it does take more bands. I believe that doing the base on this is about 32 bands versus 128 for one of my standing skirts. But you have the option of doing a 2D doll that can stand up or a 2D doll with a 3D skirt. Completely up to you. I really hope you enjoy making. Take care. Bye bye.